tag team action coming up, guys, and this is for the young superstars of NWA Shockwave, the future of NWA Shockwave, if you will. I don't mean to cut you off, but we saw earlier problems with, with tag teams. We've seen it again. What is going on between Dan Barry and Ken Scamp? What's going on? Dan Barry is a sore loser to Scampy threw him out in the battle royale. And he's got to understand it's every man for himself out there. You can't be upset because your partner turned on you. Just because he's got a big head doesn't mean there's anything in Oh, uh, How do you know he's got a big head? I'm talking about the one on top of his shoulder. Oh. It's going to be a challenging situation. Stressed out you were talking about the other one. Yes, but the emotions running high. I did hear you. I just chose to ignore you, by the way. Barry, going to work on the arm of right. C.J. O'Doyle. Oh, Using wow. Using his body as a weapon, dropping it. Hey, I mean, earlier in the back, these guys had to be pulled apart. I mean, this is getting ridiculous out here. Hey, these teams got to get together. Scampy's showing some fire. I kind of like that. I'm curious to see what he does when he gets in the ring. I might actually make some use out of being out of here with you two losers. Hammer one ball. loser. Oh, one and a half losers. Hey. Barry with the side headlock. You know, I used to like you. Actually, he used to have a crush on you. Hey, what? Heads. I thought that was you, Jerry. One of those letters from you. Strauss, you're five seconds from adding another match to this show. Barry, looking for an escape here. Look at the headstand. Look at the agility. And he does it. Yeah, look at the right hand. Barry using his quickness to keep the larger old Doyle off his guard, but a counter by CJ. <laughs> See, and there's Dan Barry again, playing up to the crowd, trying to be funny and entertaining. And, you know, that doesn't get the job done in the square circle. I don't think Ken Scampy's amused at this point. No. And I tell you what, if, if Kerman and O'Doyle can take advantage, they could score an upset in this match. O'Doyle with the tag, and here comes John Kerman. And this is our first opportunity to see him in proper in-ring action, aside from the Battle Royal earlier. And Pink has been with an aggressive streak here. He sure does. I would, too, if I watched this something about Mary 25 times. Look at that hairdo. I'm going to tell him you said that. That's his line. Dude, that's my line. Up and over goes back. Oh! Floating in Seguri. I can't believe he just stole my line. People stealing my gimmicks, not my lines. What else is going to happen out here? We'll steal one of his. Jerry already really stole your boxers, but I didn't want to tell you that until after the show. Uh, what did you say about you being funny and entertaining, not working? <laughs> NWA Shockwave? Oh, a straight kick by Don't Kerman. Don't about you, Jerry. Don't worry about it. John Why Kerman. you geeks continue to fight? That was a beautiful straight kick by Kerman. And now catching Ken Scampy right now. Oh, and drops a knee first right across the midsection. On the move, and man, did he explode with that kick. I tell you what, Kerman's impressive. I've known him for a long time. There's a cover and only a two count. How big would it be, your first appearance, getting a victory over this experienced tag team? Did you see that? Scammy just tagged in Barry. Barry wasn't paying attention. That, that was I he's really excited to get back in the ring. That was literally a blind tag. I mean, I don't know what's going on with these guys. Those guys are two friends who've been together for a long, long time. Well, they certainly don't yeah. seem to be on the same page tonight. And Barry, about to be a victim Oh, a double team. Oh, back body drop. Oh, Scampy ran right into Phil Nelson. Oh. And he's getting chopped up. Oh, wait a second. What the hell? Barry just nailed Scampy. What is going on here? And O'Doyle almost takes advantage. And these two definitely not on the same page. You're up here four on uppercut. No, they are not. I'm going to guess a woman's involved. A woman is always involved when two guys that are friends are fighting like that. Happy one. That's right. You know women and wrestling never mix. And in Strauss's case, he doesn't have a woman ever to stand with. You know, it just doesn't happen for you, does it? It's because I spend my time with guys like you far too often. And, you know, working. Yeah, you're, you're admitting to spending yeah. a lot of time with other guys. Yeah. Too often. I never told you about my bowling league. 
Meanwhile, look at the strength. If that's, what, if that's what you want to call it. Get back to the match. With, look at the strength. With those. Look at the strength. He's, he's so strong, he's holding him up throughout Kurdo's whole attempt at a joke. And still. Oh, I am impressed. C.J. O'Doyle making an impact here at Shockwave. There's a cover. One, two, and a two count. Impact on Scampi Spark. That's the kind of quality commentating that you can expect from down in Stark. I'm the John Madden of Pro Wrestling. I noticed that, uh, th does that mean you're afraid of flying too? I, I, I took the boss. O'Doyle drops the knee. Strauss said you were a boss earlier, but I just thought I was passing that along to you. You know, guys, this is a prime opportunity for C.J. O'Doyle and John Kerman to take advantage of a situation where normally they'd be the underdogs because of their, their lack of experience as a team. But here, they can walk right in and steal a victory from these two guys who know each other so well. If I was them at this point, I'd take advantage of a good hairstylist. Sign right in. Oh, face first. Right in a boot. Kerman with two feet to the shoulder blades. That's got to be it. Whacked out hairstyle, but an awesome move, and only a two count. Scampi hanging tough, but what corner, what a home does he have to go to? I think Scampi would laugh at you saying he was hanging with his supposed 10 inches. One, two, his foot's on the rope. Scampi doing what he has to do to stay in this thing, but again, What's his best case scenario is that he tags the partner whom he's not even getting along with. You mean his foot's 10 inches long, right? That's how he's able to hit the rope? Oh, that's what I, yeah, that's what I was saying. Exactly. One, two. And I did you, say supposedly. You got to you gotta, you know, confirm things for Strauss here. I got you. I got you. He hears 10 inches and he's going in the bathroom for three hours. Oh, Strauss on face first right on the three top. Hours. That's impressive, Strauss. You want a job in my company? It only last 10 minutes, but he's got to stay in three hours just to clean himself up. Guys, Ken Scampi just hit the tag, or he tried to, but Barry pulled his hand away. Scampi finally made it to his corner, and it didn't help him one bit. Dan Barry is refusing to get back into this match. Well, Scampi Barry's being a little frightened, in my opinion. Oh, Scampi said he'll do this. He doesn't need Dan Barry's help. Scampi on top. He's going to have to... Oh! oh. What the... Barry just tripped up his own partner. Oh, and a drop kick right to the face of his own partner. What is going on with Dan Barry? Scampi has been knocked for a loop by his own partner. Now Barry, back on the attack. He's going to take on Kermit. He's going to take on O'Doyle. Oh, that drop kick right on the button and an elbow for good measure. Oh, now Scampi from behind on his partner. We got major problems here. Can't you guys just get along? I don't like that. Scampi. Barry was acting like a crybaby this whole time. Scampi was well on his rights to hit him with that and walk out on him. Scampi's had enough and he's hot getting the hell out of here. I think I'm going to have my people call Scampi's people. I like that fire. He just left Dan Barry by himself. That Larry by Kerman. Oh, he got him. What an upset, Strauss. And Kerman oh. very enthusiastic. And the much more serious O'Toyle. Wow. But it's a real story. It's the man lying flat on his back in the ring. Try baby Dan Barry. Unbelievable, Dan Barry and Ken Scampi can't get along. That team just imploded in that ring. And it cost them a